Hi, Elisha is here. Uh, welcome to my channel also. I'm going to be discussing how you can solve an issue that has to be put in the Shiba laptop. I talked about the Shiba laptop because the system I actually have is experience with the Shiba satellite C850. So uh, it's possible that it can help you if you have the same issue with another system, whether it's the Shiba brand or it's not the Shiba brand. Now this particular routing system is a, it's a normal situation, especially when your system are not discovered or find your hard disk, even though you know that your hard disk has a computing system in the brain. Or you see something on your screen that has to do with a no booting device found and the system is asking that you should restart. Or you put in your flash drive, you put in the flash drive system will not still identify it. You put in your bootable operating system CD and the system will not still identify it. When you are faced with this problem, what do you do? How do you get it solved? It's very simple and easy. And I'm going to show you shortly. So let's go to it. Okay. I'm going to start by putting on my laptop. Um, the address is in, then I'll go to the setup by pressing F2, then navigate to the boot tab and select my hard drive as my first bootable device. Now, what I want to just show here is to prove that the system will not see any of the bootable devices, and that if that is exactly what you experience too, then this particular uh, video is good for you because what I'm going to show you on how to resolve this issue is going to really help you a lot. As you can see, my first portable device is already my hard disk, so I press F10 now to boot. Starting up, the system is showing, checking me there. Shortly, it's going to show as you can see that no portable device found despite the fact that my hard disk is in loaded with operating system and it's supposed to boot. Okay, now that it will not boot from the hard drive, let's try a portable flash drive. I'm going to connect a portable flash drive. So it's connected and now. Um, to start the system, press F2. Again, I will navigate to the um, boot tab, make my USB as my primary or my first B2B device by pressing F6 to move it up, then F10 to save and insist. The same problem checking media or any period it takes to check this media depends okay depends sometimes check it very fast sometimes it can be slower but wherever the case may be we are facing an issue of bootable device cannot be detected so at this point i'm going to remove my bootable flash drive and insert my bootable cd rom I'm trying to put from it out and see if the system can identify it. Okay, so I'll restart the system again and again I'll press F2. Press F2 to move to the setup. Then navigate to the boot tab this time around we make my CD ROM or CD drive as my primary bootable drive by pressing F6 until it becomes the first one, then F10 to save and exist. Here the system is shutting by checking me that view. Okay, so apparently. 
this system cannot detect any mutable device. I cannot detect my hard disk, I cannot detect my flash drive, I cannot detect my CD ROM drive. What could be the problem? If you have this issue, then just stay on with me and see how this can easily be solved. So now I'm going to restart the system. Press F2 again. And after that, the first thing we will need to do is to navigate to the security tab. Then press the down arrow button until you get to the secure boot. This secure boot is already in enable state. So the, what you have to do here is to change it from be enabled to disabled. So press enter. Press your down arrow button or arrow key and press enter again. That's disabled. After that, navigate to the advanced tab. Then once you get to the advanced tab, move down to the system configuration option. Press your enter key, then move down to boot mode. Get to boot mode, you see UEFI boot. That UEFI boot has to be replaced as you can see on the as you can see here on the item specific help. Select the boot mode UEFI. Support to boot any UEFI capable OS. But the kind of OS that we are used to is not supported by UEFI. Rather, is supported by CXM boot. So we are going to change to CSM boot mode. Press enter. All that is done. You can press your escape key to navigate back to your advanced tab. Then press F10 to save and exit. Now let's see if the system is going to boot from my hard drive or not. Wow, it's good. So that's it. That's how to solve booting issue when it comes to Toshiba satellite. Like I said before, the brand I use here is Toshiba Satellite C850. I've not tried any other brand, and uh, if your brand is not this particular brand, you can try it, and I hope it will work for you. I hope you enjoyed the video you just um, watched and I also want to believe that you can learn from it. Now, with that to write and diagonalize or you can solve an issue that has to do with a uh, no particular device found in the Toshiba system. So if you like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't also forget to hit the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions or you would have love me to do any video that has something to do with one or two issues that have had the system there's some laptop you can drop it from the door and break through it and I'll get back to you. So see you in my next video.